Welcome to Digital Toolbox. I'm Scott and today we're going to go through a basic tutorial in Grasshopper. What should we create in Grasshopper? What is it good for? And what should we create in Rhino? So I have a few points in Rhino. You can see them here. I'll just grab another point and place it down here. And these I've created in Rhino. So that's a, a Rhino point at X, Y, and Z coordinate. I want to drive a circle and uh, we'll go ahead and extrude that circle but we're gonna do that in Grasshopper so you should be a little bit familiar with the interface we'll go under curve and then from curve we'll go into primitive and grab circle we could just click and drag that down to the uh, workspace uh, every button looks like this it has a, a name in the center circle and then inputs P and R P is the base plane or point and then R is the radius of the circle. So we want to drive, we want to say that this circle is going to be created from these points in Rhino. So I'll go ahead back to parameters, and that's where the geometry tab is. All of this geometry right here is what you've already created in Rhino. So we'll go and click on the geometry title, pop down to point, and we'll put it right here. If it's yellow, there's nothing there. So we'll right click and set one point and we'll set one of the, our points from Rhino. It toggles back to the Rhino interface. You click on that and it sets it. So the, the X, the red X on the point shows that uh, it's selected or that you've uh, set that one point. If you click on the point button then the point uh, that cross on it turns to green. So we'll put that point into the circle and the radius if you hover over it, it already says 1. So it's already set as 1. We want to change that. So we'll go under special and grab a number slider. Number slider is already set at 0.25. We'll right click and edit those values. We want just basic integers. So we'll click that. And then we'll go from 1 to 20. Sounds OK. And then we'll drag that button into the radius. So as we toggle that slider, the radius corresponds accordingly. So when we click on the circle button, then the circle appears green and it's highlighted. But since the point we generated in Rhino, we can go back to Rhino, select that point, and move it around, and the, the circle we created updates live. So that's great. You might want to keep that in mind for uh, in the future if you want to generate something in Rhino or is it easier to generate it in Grasshopper. Now we'll go ahead and extrude the curve. So under surface, under freeform, we'll go to extrude. The extrude button has B, which is the uh, profile curve or surface. We'll throw that back to the, the circle we're going to extrude and then D is the direction so we'll go to vector uh, constants X Y or Z will go Z and it'll extrude it in the Z direction the Z uh, vector comes with uh, one is already locally defined so we're gonna want that uh, extrusion to be on a slider as well We'll just use the same slider from the radius of the curve, so this way the radius will be 12, and then now we'll take the 12 and put that into the Z. So you can see back in Rhino that when I toggle the slider from you know 1 to 20, not only does the radius change, but the extrusion height in the Z axis change changes too. So that's basic uh, basic run through of a point that we have set in Rhino. We can also go back and set multiple points too. So if I right click on the point button, I can say set multiple points. And I'll uh, hold down the shift key and uh, press one point and I'll select all of the, the four points that I have and uh, go back to Grasshopper. I should have done it but it didn't, didn't seem to. So just try to do that again set multiple points and there there it did it so all those uh, points are 
in Rhino, so I can go back and move those in the Rhino interface. But then they're all driven by the same definition. So it's a quick way of updating geometry all at once, the best part about Grasshopper. And then the points are the only thing that we had to create in Rhino. So there you have it. There's a quick rundown of uh, geometry in Rhino versus geometry in Grasshopper. Hope you learned something today, and we'll see you next time.